Welcome to Calibri Modulate. This again, this part is about software as a service and its pricing. We have four papers on these items and we hope that you will read all of them in order to get an overview and insight about how services can be priced and how it connects to what we think about uh, software as a service. The first paper is about specific um, software as a service from Wikipedia, um, thinking about the licensing and delivery model, often referred to as on-demand service. And software as a service is a part of cloud computing. And we also see that software as a service develops as compu cloud computing evolves. The second paper is about service in economics terms, which is some kind of basic for the later pricing strategy in the next paper. Service is in general term as an intangible commodity, meaning that it's not a product that we can hold in our hand, it's unique and it's one time. Service delivery has six factors. Service provider, the people, equipment used to provide it, the physical facilities used, the requesting consumer, other customers, and the customer contact. And we see that service is often provided integrated with some items or goods. Third paper with pricing strategies. And it's a Wikipedia paper once again. A variety of pricing strategies when you sell a pro product or a service. This paper lists a complete of 23 different pricing models, which all of them might be an option when you think about how do we price the software and its services when we are going to develop and deliver something. Uh, the paper also lists nine laws of price sensitivity and consumer psychology, and all of these is something that you should consider in order to select the best pricing model for your product. The reference price effect is one, difficult comparison effect, switching cost, price quality, expenditure, and benefit, shared cost, fairness, and framing. So that will be a consumer psychology issue which you should consider when selecting the price model. The last paper discusses the four key pricing models for software as a service companies. We have the most used, perhaps, the freemium model, where core services for free and we charge for more features. Alternative 2 capacity based freemium, where something is free up to a threshold. We have the feature based freemium with some locked features. We have time based freemium that expires after a period, and we have case, use case freemium, which is free for some user categories. All of these can easily be viewed on the internet. In addition to the freemium model, we have the consumption model, pay as you go, where you somehow rent a service. We have the tiered model, high pricing to driver or value in usage, and we have perpetual license model, which is an upfront payment plus maintenance support and service fee. The paper, in addition, have a decision framework for selecting the pricing model divided into six steps. So, please read the papers to be prepared and then you can continue with the quiz from this module. Thank you.